Well, after all the threats of a walkout, the first thing to say is that Eubank is here to defend his title. Now, what has he got for a ring entrance this time? What next from the Christopher Livingston Eubank School of Outrageous Entrances? Well, tonight's edition features one of his beloved Harley Davidson motorcycles. I'm told it's a 1975 shovelhead, for those of you who know about those things, worth £10,000. Is he revving up for something special, as he did against Wharton? Well, he seems very, very focused there. But meanwhile, in the other corner, Steve Collins is oblivious to this, sitting with a hood over his eyes, his earphones on, trying not to get psyched out. Eubank's 20th World Championship fight tonight. No other British boxer in history can match that. In the moment, the famous theme tune that has greeted him through all those contests. Beaten in 10 years and 43 contests. In turn, he's been called dull, outrageous, lucky, brilliant, but always Chris Eubank has been big, big news and big box office. The security men are having to earn their court. They certainly are. The atmosphere here is unbelievable. I came over on the same plane as Chris Eubank, and when he got on the aeroplane, everybody burst into applause. So he must be gaining some popularity in his old age. I have to do something about that. Look at Steve Collins, shutting his mind off to the entire episode. What a picture that is. Unbelievable, isn't it? Obviously, he thinks this entrance has a lot to do with putting, you, putting Eubank's opponents off. That's why he's got his head down, he doesn't want to see any of it. He's got his game plan in his mind and he wants to go through with it. As always, he's milking it for everything it's worth, Eubank. Some people say all oh, this is over the top. It is literally there. But I think, quite honestly, the punters expect it and like it. spectacle here Ricky Hatton appearing at the home of his beloved Manchester City in Manchester City colours 
a club that he loves so much that he even calls his dog after city legend Franny Lee. Fat man, it says, on the top of the... Uh, helmet there protecting it. the outfit. Look, he's got a special fat man outfit on. Well, it's always had a fantastic sense of humour. You know, that's one of the things I've seen missing in this preparation. The twinkle in his eye, the mischief. I think he's taken this very seriously. Over the last couple of years, when Ricky's boxed, he's been challenging for titles and he's been unifying titles. Always something to win as well as something to lose. Tonight, everything to lose, nothing to gain. I think he's feeling the pressure. He's a lot, lot slimmer than that. Down to 10 stone for the 30th time in his career. Hatton wants to make a statement tonight. Wants to show the world that he is still a major force despite being stopped by Floyd Mayweather in that massive fight in Las Vegas back in December. Looks good, doesn't he? Yeah, he does look good. He looks very, very serious. And as I say, I think he's beginning to feel the pressure of this event. Wonderful, wonderful idea. Great way to bring him back from his one and only loss as a professional. But there's a lot of people here expect to be pleased. And Ricky has the job of doing that. Hope he manages it. because he lost a coin cost this week and Kessler decided he wanted to enter the arena last. Crotch's response to that was to say, well, I'd have come in first anyway had I won. Well, at long last, Carl Crotch is getting the acclaim that he thoroughly deserves and he's thriving on it. For three or more years, he's been facing the best super middleweights in the world. Hasn't missed anyone out whatsoever, fought all the way through the Super, super Six to the final. A tournament that knocked a lot out of some fighters that seems to have put something into Carl Crotch. He's a better fighter since the Super Six, and that may be the difference between them tonight. He has improved since our last meeting. I don't think Mikel Kessler has. We shall see. Carl Crotch. Fame and recognition has come light to him. No one was inviting him onto the Jonathan Ross show. All those years he was in Joe Calzaghi's shadow. What an amazing atmosphere here. Just to remind you, the tickets sold out in just over three hours. Us an insight what's a walk to the ring like on a night like this you had a few of them in glasgow now th this is okay now because you are now in the zone when you're in the dressing room you get time to think of other things you know your bad days and sparring times you didn't feel uh, quite 100 percent but now you're on the job now, now you're in business now it's time to switch on as i say get in the zone and this is the time you can actually enjoy
attraction of the evening, the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Please welcome, making his way to the ring, the challenger, Britain's Frank Bruno. Frank Bruno looking to succeed tonight where so many other British heavyweights have failed. His best chance and surely his last chance. Bruno prepares for his ring entrance, the long walk to the ring. Nine years and 45 days since his first world title attempt against Tim Witherspoon right here at Wembley Stadium. Will it be a different story tonight? institution now nearly 34 years of age entering to a spectacular firework display real pyrotechnics and what a crackling atmosphere at Wembley Stadium there have been very few nights like this I can tell you in boxing we could have done without the booing of the American national anthem but Bruno is absolutely full of self-belief. I've spoken to him a lot in the build-up. He really believes that this time he's going to do it. And Glenn McCrory, you think he will, don't you? I, I do, Ian. I think he's got a... Certainly this is his best chance. He's got everything to fight for here. And one of the... I've said it before. One of the, the main things I think he's got is another ingredient that's desperation he wants it so bad this time he feels time's running out this is his last chance and i'm sure he's so focused for this i think he can do it frank has been so many things knockout specialist pantomime star you've seen him on the adverts he's known huge popularity and great wealth he has a big house and a lovely family, but the one thing he wants more than any other has eluded him, the heavyweight championship of the world. Is this the night that the long, long Bruno story has a happy ending? The fans reaching out to touch him, the minders making sure that they don't. Frank locked in his own thoughts. A call is a 
an old friend, an old sparring partner, but they've been anything but friends in the weeks leading up to this fight. Now listen to the reception Bruno gets now. Whatever you felt over the years about Big Frank, I'm sure all Britain is willing him to do it tonight. Coming to the ring first, the challenger from Hammersmith, St. George Brown! Let us swear that you are worth your breeding, which I doubt not. For there is none of you so mean and base that hath not noble luster in your eyes. I see you stand like greyhounds in the slips, straining upon the start. The game's afoot. Follow your spirit and upon this charge cry, God for Harry, England and St. George. He's created this. It was his campaign and it's been relentless to get that rematch that has generated all this interest. So much attention on this. And what an extraordinary atmosphere Wembley Stadium is now creating to see if George Groves can indeed complete his unfinished business. He is utterly convinced he was robbed last time. And he has put huge pressure on himself, Jim, to complete the job at the second time of asking. Well, all the St. Meyer fighters have put themselves on the line and nobody puts themselves on the line more than George Groves. But he did prove last time out that he's good enough, he's quick enough, and he's powerful enough to beat Carl Froch. But the mistake he made last time was he didn't go in with a 12-round plan. He believed he could blast Carl Froch out of there, and the terrific start he got with the knockdown reinforced that belief, and he started to tire and allowed Carl Froch back into the fight. If he goes in tonight with a 12-round plan, and the same tactics he used last time, he has a chance, but I, I still keep leaning towards the toughness of Carl Froch being the deciding factor in this fight tonight. And of course, what he mustn't do is let this extraordinary atmosphere here go to his head and put all those game plans right out of the window. Just listen to that. Ladies and gentlemen.
gentlemen, in the ring at this time, please welcome superstar grime recording artist Stormzy as he brings to the ring Anthony Joshua! O2 Arena, I will say, we're inside the building, my name is Stormzy, my name is The Problem. Yo, man try to say he's better than AJ. Tell my man, shut up. Man's been dealing like Beyblade. I root boy, shut up. Better than AJ, shut up. Best in the ring, not a rude boy. Look, look, couple man call me a backup dancer. On stage of the Brits, I'm a backup dancer. If that makes me a backup dancer, the man in your vids, the man in your pics. Man, I'm gonna chat about backup dancer. Big man like me with a beard, I'm a big man how to wait. Look, army comes everywhere I go. I can't run with my enemy show. Walk in the club with all of my talks. Party's done, everybody go home. Apart from the girl, them you lost stay. Walk in the club with the girl, say hey. Tell a man like I'm Kane to the A. There's no champagne, we don't rain. Yeah, I'm the best, I'm so cocky. I got a mob like ASAP Rocky. I said trends, don't man cocky. They catch feelings, I catch bodies. They go deep, I go sweaty. Got about 25. They drink Bailey's, I drink Fossy. I get murky, they get. Look, if you got a GAT, bring it out. Most of the real bad boys in the south. If you wanna do me something I'm about, I'm not a gangster, I'm so far. We see my man over there with a. They wanna give you man, try to get loud. All of my men, they move so foul. I might sing, but I ain't sold out. Nowadays, all of my shows sold out. Headlines, oh yeah, blood sold out. When we roll in, they roll out. I'm so London, I'm so. Food on the ends like there ain't no trout. Tips don't tall like he's got no mouth. I wanna make my mum so proud. That your mum could fly go now. All of my ex girls talk to me hard. Talk to my face and I'm talk to my palm. I bought bills and I bought me a car. No way whip that walk to my march. I say murks to walk in a pot. I take care when I walk on my clock. These MCs wanna talk about Lord of the Mic. You ain't even Lord of your yard. Dead MCs why leave me alone. Me and your girl only speak on the phone. Kill the whole crew of MCs on my own. Kill the whole crew of MCs for the throne. I was a hungry, so I'm hungry. Man try eat and leave me the bones. Now these brothers they need me to grow. Hot chocolate and a pity needs to go. I'm a big man. Man are upset by the Mobile Wars. Yeah, I was gassed at the Mobile Wars. Cause I ain't gonna move before. Duh, all of the MCs sound so bitter. Shut down O2, shut down Twitter. Shout out DP, shout out Flipper. Best my age yet. Wait, if you don't rate me, shame on you. If you don't rate me, shame on you. Can I order a death bear for an MC? He wants me for me, make that too. Anyone else wanna make that move? Anyone else wanna pay their dues? Imposters wanna take my tune. Sip chocolate, get my face so smooth. Check it, don't even talk too much, you're too. The man still go hard to the pool. Soon we turn from a prince to a pauper. And a bottle of water, tell the bouncer, I'll get the bottles in order. Man in the kitchen, putting in orders. Sip chocolate, clean, clear like water. Start locking up daughters. I make some noise for Anthony Joshua! Come on. That's the like man. Whatsoever, no respect. I will knock out Vladimir Klitschko. David Hay is gonna be my 50th knockout. Das wird meine 50. Knockout sein. Am 2. Juli. Boah, this is gonna be an exciting fight. Are you ready? Absolutely. I go and take my brother. Er hat meine Ehre mit Füßen getreten. Er hat mich belogen. Er hat meine Familie beleidigt. Endlich kann ich mich rächen. Coming to the ring, Dr. Steel Hammer, Vladimir Klitschko! Now will make his walk towards the ring. 
where David Hay awaits, silver foil around his shoulders to protect him from the chill of the evening air in Hamburg. Will Klitschko now make hay wait? George Foreman still looking in great shape. Was it really back in 1994 when he became the oldest heavyweight champion of all time? Here comes Vladimir Klitschko tonight in his 19th world title. Going past the tally collected by Lennox Lewis, he figured in 18 world title fights. Vladimir draws level with the tally of Evander Holyfield. Joe Lewis, Muhammad Ali, Larry Holmes all have more. Vladimir Klitschko, you sense, over the years has been maybe a little bit underestimated. And I'm sure in his mind, while Hay has his defining night, Klitschko will think so much of what has gone in the past will have been for nothing if he loses tonight. Yeah, I agree with that. I think this is his legacy he's fighting for tonight. He spent a lot of his career defeating fighters that he was better than. Tonight he has a real test, he has a dangerous test, and if it should go wrong for him, we'll remember that all his defeats which were by knockout in the main fight in his career, he was knocked out again. This is an important night, there must be a lot of strain and pressure on his mind. He was jostled by the fans who are being kept further back this time. Klitschko looks composed following his trainer, Emmanuel Stewart, as the fireworks blast into the night air once more. Crowds at fever pitch. One certainly hopes that this one doesn't boil over in any way among those who paid their money to be here tonight. Let's hope that the real action is going to be in the ring. It is absolutely edge of your seat stuff. Well, Vladimir has kept cool throughout all the trash talking over the last number of weeks and months, but I do get the feeling that he is annoyed. He's talking about punishing here, talking about hurting here. I've never known any comments like that from Vladimir. It's out of character. So can we hope maybe tonight he will box out of character, make some mistakes and present some chances for David Hayes to capitalise on. He's promised to start fast. He says he's going to take the fight to Vladimir Klitschko. Emmanuel Stewart, who's been around a while, I heard that off the record, well, it's on the record now, so I'm going to tell you, Vladimir Klitschko, according to Stewart, is going to win this inside two rounds. And now, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, here comes the former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. The usual no frills, no showbiz, no lasers entrance. Just the solid black boots, black trunks, black top. It's the sort of entrance that a throwback fighter like Jack Dempsey would have made. He's always done it this way. And can you think of any other sportsman, politician, rock star, religious leader, anyone who would have generated as much publicity by visiting this country? as Tyson has in the last fortnight. Here he comes for his British stadium. Well, I think that the writing on the chest says it all for Mike Tyson. Be real. I don't think he really sees this as a, a challenge at all, as, as a, a fight. And just often his antics this week have suggested that. He's just smiled at Julius Francis. He hasn't bothered to stare at him. He hasn't been bothered to be angry at him. No, he's just smiling. I don't really think this is a a big test from but the questions hang in the air after 16 volcanic and turbulent years how much is left and after his foul filled recent fights will he blow a fuse again we really don't know what to expect of him these days coming to the ring the defending champion the royalty of boxing prince Nazim Hamid! And this, we are told, will be Prince Nazim Hamid's 
last big production ring entrance via magic carpet, would you believe? showbiz ring entrances but you have to say looking around here the crowd seem to love it but the question is of course in the ring has the magic gone well that's what he's got to try and prove he's got to try and show that it's still there that he's still got the fire the punch power you know that everything you know, he still wants it in the game and he says he will this time but he needs to he just hasn't performed well in the last three fights so he needs a special performance well, it was a happy landing that time, but there are some who feel that Naz could come crashing down to earth in his first London appearance for three years. Give him credit, he's reigned since 1995. 13 title defences now, but he does know and accepts now that the last three performances have been very flawed. He needs to shine here and to answer the critics who are wondering if he's on the slide, if he, as a young multi-millionaire with a young family, is in the comfort zone. And answer those two who say he might be getting bored with the business. Well, that's always a problem when you get... When you just get to the point where you've done it all, and, and you know, he has done it all. You know, he's had a tremendous career, he's tremendously talented. He's done it all. Has he got to the point where you know, he's woke up and he just doesn't want it anymore? It's all a struggle to him. Bodyguards surrounding him. There's people in the crowd trying to reach out and touch him as if he's some kind of god. Well, is it the last time that we'll see this, I wonder? Sky Sports. Feel it all.